Sonic the Hedgehog for the Xbox 360, also known as Sonic 06, is one of the most requested games of all time for me to do for Glitchfest. And for good reason, it is a very broken game. Normally when I go to record for a Glitchfest, I have to do very particular setups to get the glitches to work, or I have to go out of my way to find them. With this game, I kinda just played and they happened. Now there will be some more complex glitches in this Glitchfest as well, but for the most part, I just went through the game, messed around, and these are the results. Let's get started. So, real quick, I just want to mention that this glitch fest is going to be split up into three parts. One part for each of the main character's stories. And today, of course, we are going to be starting with Sonic. I start up the game and we watch the intro cutscene. And while there are no actual glitches here, there is the occasional lag spike. However, this is probably due to my disc being messed up and not the actual game. Look, I bought the game from eBay and this is just how it is. Considering the game's case came in this condition, I should not be too surprised. After all that shenanigans, I get dropped into the game. And, of course, the first thing I do is jump in to the water and kill myself. But I found for some reason killing yourself in this area does not actually reduce your life counter. Afterwards, I went over to these guards and it turns out they are blocking this bridge. And I will not stand for that, so of course I do my best to glitch past them. This led to some very spazzy results at first, and then I fell down here and I kinda got stuck a little bit. But after enough trial and error, I finally get through and I can now explore the part of the town they were trying to block off. I actually found the level entrance to the second stage, but unfortunately it doesn't work right now. Something you'll have to get used to as we go throughout this video, as I'm sure you've already caught on, is the game spazzes a lot. Me trying to get behind this door here is no exception. After enough forcing myself at it, it does let me through, but it doesn't really let me do anything. Another door over here, quite similar, I do glitch inside, but there's actually two doors, so now I'm a door sonic sandwich. But if I go at the exact right position and spin dash at the corner of the door, it'll let me through and I can enter solely on a forest, which I'm not supposed to be able to do at this point. But once we get inside, we are bizarrely surrounded by stop signs. I have no clue why these are here. Is this the game's way of trying to warn me? Trying to tell me to stop playing? To turn back while there's still time? Well, of course I'm not quitting now. Let's keep going. I walked around the forest for a bit, and I found that the bridge is not here, so I can't leave that way. I kept exploring for a while, then I finally walked over here and finally found an ex- it? That doesn't work either. Okay, how about if I jump inside the lake and drown myself and die? Not even death will allow me to escape from this forest, so I have to quit out and go back into the game. With not much else to do at this point, I decide to continue the game and go and talk to Tails. This initiates a little cutscene here, and at the end of the cutscene, just, just look at Sonic. This game cannot even get the cutscenes right. This is a silver medal. Yeah, there's kinda no silver medal here. And for some reason, Tails is just spazzing out. Also over here, I can grab these rings, but for some reason, grabbing them does not increase my ring counter. Now, to continue the game, I have to buy an upgrade from the shop, and there's only one way I can actually get rings, which is doing this little mission here. I start up the mission, but while doing it, I got a little bit sidetracked and found this barrel right here. I decided to break it, and to my surprise, it's full of lemons. I've actually beaten this game before, and I had no idea that there was a barrel full of lemons. After being distracted by the lemons, I go and beat the mission and get all of my rings. This lets me go to the shop and buy the upgrade here so I can now do the light dash. I try to use the light dash here to get across, but Sonic does it backwards and ends up killing himself. <sighs> I try again and finally get it. We can now actually enter the first stage in the game. We've made it this far, there's no turning back now. Would you guys believe me if I told you we're only just getting started with how broken this game is? Let's begin Wave Ocean. Right, Sonic, we have to save Elise, but along the way we might run into some obstacles. For example, just barely dipping your toes in the water will cause your death. Just barely touching the water, oh, dead again. Game over! Ah. Oh, uh, great! I have to watch the intro cutscene and do all of that again because I forgot to save. After doing all that, I remember to save this time and let's go back inside. For some reason, I can jump off the water and attack this giant pillar and destroy it. Turns out the physics with these loops are messed up. Of course! Yeah, I, I don't think this is supposed to happen. I actually end up walking all the way back up this ramp to the top here. You can see they didn't do a very good job of placing these booster pads on the floor. Once at the top of the stage here, for some reason it makes Sonic repeat the same dialogue he did before. But there's not much else to do up here. This isn't a glitch, but look at how bad that dolphin animation is. Here, the physics are strange. And just hitting this booster leads to my death. Oh, okay, so that was a lot of small, kind of annoying at times glitches. But here's a really cool one. Remember back when I broke that giant stone pillar? Well, you can actually jump on top of it, and that lets you jump back over to the loops here. If you work your way over to this side, you can stand here, and if you get the exact right angle, you can do a trick. What I do here is I press the jump button, and one frame later, I pause. Then I simply unpause and mash 
the A button. If I do this right, Sonic just launches. As you can see here, I kind of mess up and he doesn't go too far. But like I said, if you get the right angle, it can be awesome. I line up just right, do the trick, and boom, it launches me halfway across the stage. Awesome! And another booster killed me. And here I'm completely stuck against the wall. I know it looks like I'm just standing there, but I promise you I am mashing every button. On the bright side, Sonic's portion is over and we get to move on to control tails. Oh, come on, game! And can I just say these high-speed sections? Not the most enjoyable thing. However, I do somehow manage to get through without any glitches, so that's good. Goodbye, Wave Ocean. You will not be missed. Now that we're back in Soliana, it's time to head to the second stage. Now, normally you're supposed to head to the shop and get an upgrade so you can slide underneath a wall. However, of course, we're going to skip that. So I head over to this door- uh Gosh dang it, it is so annoying to walk around these pillars on these bridges. Okay, so I get up to the door and I get a very precise angle. Then I jump and do a homing attack just at the right time. And if I do it exactly right, I will go right through the wall. I decide to go to the right as you can see the entrance to the second level, but once I get inside, I touch the level entrance and it doesn't actually work. Now it might seem like I'm stuck inside this area because the police won't let me back out, but... Of course not. If we go inside the corner here, we can jump and do a homing attack at the right spot, and it'll let us back out. Now what I actually want to do is go through this wall here, and instead go to the left. Then I hit this bumper and go to the top and talk to this little girl. That's what we we're supposed to do. But here's where things get a little crazy. Since I've already gone and touched the level entrance, after talking to her, it tries to put me inside the stage. Now when it puts you inside the stage, it's supposed to play a cutscene. But for whatever reason, when we do things in exactly this way, as you can see, the characters are there all fine, but the background is entirely entirely black. Just for reference, if I did things entirely normal, this is how the cutscene would look. Yeah, that ain't right. I told you guys, not even the cutscenes are safe in this game. Jeez! Afterwards, we have a fight with Egg Cerberus, and we move on to the next stage, Dusty Desert. Now, there's not a whole lot of interesting things to show in this stage. However, there is one mechanic, which is we have this shield. Normally, if we jump inside the quicksand here, we will sink and die. But if we use the shield, it allows us to stand on top of it. While using the shield, the bar at the bottom right quickly drains. However, if I rapidly tap the button instead of holding it, I'll be able to go much farther on the sand as the power will drain much more slowly. Also guys, check out this jump. Gosh dang, that's some skill, right? Right? I should mention this shield can be used to violently destroy robots. Yeah. So violent. And really the only other thing to show in the stage is once we get to the result screen, we can for some reason still use the shield. <laughs> it's a rave party! I'm good at beatboxing. And with Dusty Desert out of the way, it is time for one of the most infamous parts of Sonic 06. The Silver the Hedgehog fight. What happens with this guy is whenever you get close to him, he grabs onto you and throws you. And it can be incredibly frustrating. If you get stuck in a corner, you might just get hit over and over. You cannot do anything about it. Right here you can see that I keep getting hit, I keep picking up my ring, and then he picks me up again, and I have no control over this. But oddly enough, if you get grabbed in just the right spot and get thrown at the corner, he might just throw you out of bounds. You can see Silver cannot even get to us. So we could just casually walk across this uh, invisible bridge. I decide to go and explore Soliana to see if anything has changed during this fight. And really it's just totally barren. There's nothing here. And yes, it pains me to say it, but the lemons are gone. Now since we're out of the boundaries of the fight, if we go and get grabbed by Silver and he throws us back, there's nothing for us to run into. And because of this, we will continue to fly forever. And I really mean forever. We'll just keep going up and up and eventually escape the atmosphere and go into outer space. The only way to get out of this is to quit the game and go back in. So I do that and restart the fight, this time with the intentions to actually beat him. There's a little trick to this fight, which is when he's in the air jumping, you can actually hit him. So all you really have to do is attack him, then get some distance, turn around, attack again, and repeat. And doing this, I beat the boss in about 25 seconds. Once you know this trick, the boss is really not that complicated at all. But for now, I think I've had enough of this game. Let me tell you, we have only begun to break this game. It gets even worse. Join me next week where we will put an end to Sonic's portion of the game. Thanks for watching. So there's something I've noticed. A lot of you guys don't actually follow me on Twitter. You should change that. Twitter.com slash psycho. Check out the link below or just type it in if you want. If Twitter's not your thing, check out these annotations. This video marks 10 episodes of Glitchfest, so click on that annotation to get taken to a playlist to check out the other ones. Or you can click on that annotation and get taken to my Let's Play of this game. And be sure to subscribe to my Let's Play channel while you're at it. I'll see you guys next time. Take care!